good afternoon, good evening, and good night to whenever you are watching. I am Alex Fantasy back again, bringing you another episode here of our Let's Play of MLB The Show 2020. And in the last video, well, we got screwed by the system. Like, we got screwed by a Moneyball team. 88 and 44 team gets into the playoffs. Unbelievable. Wow. Technically, yes, they were actually good enough to get in. I was going to say, if the Mets had been better, they were barely... Look at this fucking bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit. Unbelievable. Vladimir Guerrero will win the playoff MVP while Christian Robinson wins... Um, Back-to-back -back years, obviously, for us. Guerrero had a great postseason. Freaking Suarez, man. Well, I can understand why. They had home runs or whatever from him, but Jesus. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's head into the offseason. Retired players here. Daniel Murphy retires. Wait, I see injury? Aaron Loop, Torn Rocator Club, having to retire and end his career. Lucas Doda, or Duda. Hunter Pence. Jed Laurie at 39 retires. Uh, Jerry Belvins. Todd Frazier. There are some other big names, obviously, here. But these are the ones we're looking at, the ones that age and stuff like that. Will Harris. Uh, Adam Avero, Darren O'Day. David Price. Wow. Been sitting pretty much doing nothing for the last, didn't even play in those three years. That's crazy. Jeff, uh, Jeff Samargia from the Giants. Wow. Max Scherzer retires. He didn't play. Wow. After going to the World Series last year. Joe Smith. These are some big names. Justin Verlander at 41. Wow, man. That is crazy. Good for him, man. Played until he's 41. And Ryan Zimmerman. Wow, man. That's crazy. No inductees this year, though. All right, well, not exactly our best year. I mean, it was great that we made it to the World Series, but unfortunately, a huge loss for us kind of screwed us. Wow, we have $125 million locked up for this upcoming season. But we were talking about moving maybe on from Rizzo. Yeah, I mean, he is downtrending. And, I mean, I've got Naylor here. Who wants to play every day along with Kruger. So Rizzo, I think Rizzo will be heading out. The big question is who will we be trying to get? You know, probably looking for some minor league uh, guys once again. I mean, we're looking at our pitching staff is great. You know, I don't... Todd Yeager got a huge boost. 85 now. Look at those stats. And then you got Gabriel Mourinho. He had a great a great boost up too. So, I mean, you got to love that. May not may I just have to be looking for um So, let's see what teams are willing to give me. Nothing so far. How about now? All right. Marcus Semien, Ruben Odor. Anybody just want to give me draft picks? Nope, nothing yet. All right. Well, we can't do Rizzo just yet. Trade him out just yet. Okay. Well, we don't have anything or whatever that we can do right now here. We don't have any offers or anything that we need to worry about. We're good just where we are. Let's take a look at free agency and see which players are the big fish this upcoming season. Jack Flannery from California. Playing on St. Louis. Closing pitcher, Josh Hader. Or Hatter. 
Not bad there. Matt Chapman, not exactly worth a 94 overall. But like I said, I don't think we're going to get much better here. Shohei Otani. He's actually a starting pitcher in this. Played also 99 games at bat. He did really well there. Didn't pitch well. Really? How did this guy not with those kind of stats? Really? That is a surprise. Wouldn't mind having a, a two-way hitter. He could come in and pretty much replace... Um, uh, replace uh, Rizzo. Look at those stats. My God. Does he play? I wish he could. I wish it said that he could play. If there was an option to show him that he could play field too, his stats are off the charts. What does he want? He wants the max. So yeah, that's not happening. We're not looking to go after any kind of max players here. I don't think. Chris Sale, lots of big name guys here. Even JD Martinez is a free agent after a 61 home run season. He won't be getting, I don't think he'll do that well um, this upcoming season, but damn. There's a lot of big names here that are on uh, the free agent market here. Wow, guys are willing to give me prospects, maybe? Yes. All right. Anybody want to? Well, look at that. An A, two A's, and a B. Anything else? That might be the best deal here. He goes to a team outside of my division. Yeah, you know what? I think that's probably the best deal that I can go with here. Kroger, Rodriguez, and Rosales from St. Louis. So... There it is. Rizzo, thanks for your time. But we're going to send you off because, again, I think we're pretty much almost set to... I mean, Carol Corbin might come up or whatever. He wants to play every day, so yeah. Garcia, he wants to come up and play. Let's see what. Let's see which players actually do want to come up. Is that it? Is that the only guys or whatever who want to do it? Uh, I guess I got tender contracts and everything too. So what I'll do here is I'll go through everything and sign all the guys that I want to sign. And I'll come back in just a second. I'll also set my 40-man roster and get ourselves ready for the rest of free agency here. So hold on. Okay, we are back here. And I've gone ahead and tendered everyone's contract. We're just waiting for them all to sign. I got 38 guys here signed for our 40-man roster. Uh, that hasn't changed or whatever. I don't mind losing a few players here. We got 76 total guys. We went and released a few guys here. So we can we'll take a look at that. I believe we can look at that through... Um, let's see. Where can I see that? Can I see that anywhere? Am I... No, I can't. Huh. Well, that sucks. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but, you know, it's, you know, it's not exactly important or whatever. But again, so like I was saying before the little man got my worry. We released some players. We're actually going to need to sign a couple of guys here in the free agency, including three guys or whatever for starting pitchers or whatever who are, you know, going to be playing in the minor league. So hopefully we can find a few guys here or whatever who will do the trick for us. Um, and try to keep them or whatever, you know, not to. Hunjin Ryu. Wow. Wow, man, that's crazy. We had him for that one year, and then we traded him. Hmm. All right, well, let's see who else we can bring in to fill up that position here. 
Even if they're not exactly the best guys here, we'll just go ahead and give a couple of these minor league guys here some contracts just to fill out those extra positions or whatever. So, there. That'll do it for uh, the guys or whatever here. Yeah, just two guys or three guys or whatever there. And the big thing is that we have to trade somebody. And we have a choice. It's coming down to Justin Sanchez or Tommy Edmond. Both of them or whatever are good. And, you know, I feel like it has to be Edmond just because of the age and his potential going down. You know, Sanchez technically is still growing. You know, he's not going to be the greatest hitter. But hopefully maybe that will improve this upcoming season. His defensive skills are top-notch. His speed is good. If he can get better in the hit department, he'll be great. Edmund or whatever, he's got great fielding and decent speed and, and good and great speed. But, you know, I feel like he's going to start downturning a little bit more starting this season. And he also wants to be a star. Whereas Sanchez or whatever wants to be a star too. But, you know, I feel like that the age difference or whatever will be... A bigger thing because he's 85 and Edmund or whatever here is an 86 so you know I think Edmund will be the one heading out so we will see what teams are willing to offer us for him because the big thing is or whatever is we still have Goriel here he may be our next guy maybe looking on the way out as he did not he had an injury or whatever so hopefully he'll have a bounce back here if not he could be traded for the deadline um you know, because we're going to be relying on our younger guys here. You know, Eddie Montoya. I need him to play more this season. And I want Bobby Witt to play more this season as well. So, I mean, you know, you got at least one of them or whatever is going to have to go. So, is any team willing to offer me some great prospects? Just one. And that's Cleveland. A prospect there, Boris Tanier, Gene Ames. So, not exactly the best thing that I can deal with, but you know what? We'll do it. So, enjoy Cleveland, my man. And I think I ended up getting a... Yeah, I got Grant uh, Levine here. So, he's going to be playing for my AAA, up in AAA or whatever with those kind of stats. So, I'll have to move somebody down to play in... Uh, the miners or whatever, and I think that might end up being. I mean, I've got some guys where, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to move some players around because I've got a lot of guys here. I got two guys or whatever, so I'm gonna have to move some players around. What about what do I got here? Triple A here, second and a shortstop, and I've already got I definitely need a pitcher. So. Oh my goodness, lots of things I gotta decide here. But we can, we still have time before we work that out, so. Alright, so, we'll take a look here once again here at our guys here, our top 50. I think we'll have to add a couple of them now. Grant Levine, yeah, I'm gonna have to add him to my 40 man roster. So we might lose out on a few guys. We could even lose out on the guys we recently traded for. Because we got 39 guys now. Or 38 guys. So I actually... Who do I want to keep here? 23-year-old Matthew Allen. I want to keep him. Or do I want to keep the relief pitchers? Because relief pitchers don't come around very often. So... I think that'll be fine, though, because I do have enough guys or whatever down here to cover the positions if I have to. So I think we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it just like that. 38 guys. We're ready to go here. We traded away the guys that we needed to trade away. Our budget now $103 million. It'll go a little higher once, not by much, but once we sign everybody. So, all right. Let's get started here as we move on through it. Let's see who signs where. Nationals get starting pitcher Dennis and Lamette, five-year, $10 million deal. Brewers get Alvarado, relief pitcher, five-year deal. Indians got Edmund from us. Uh, Cardinals also obviously got Rizzo from us. We'll be looking at seeing which teams or whatever keep some of their star players. Flatter, Jake Fl uh, Jack Flattery goes to the Dodgers. Nice starting pitcher for them. 
Dage LeMay, who will remain with the Colorado Rockies. William Kroger goes to Kansas City. Hayter goes to the Cubbies. Lucas uh, Giolito goes to the Twins. Oh, wow. Julio Arias, six-year deal, will go to Houston. Cubs get Blake Schnell. Car uh, Cardinals get German Marquez. Hicks will go to the Red Sox. Shohei Otani goes to the Cubs. Seven-year deal. Montgomery goes to the White Sox. David Dahl, left fielder, goes to the Red Sox. Angels get Nicholas Castellanetos, the World Series champion from the Reds. The Marlins are looking to offer us a deal here. They want to give me a starting pitcher here in uh, Robert Kroger. The answer is no. Angels get Juan Mons uh, Monseda. Nine-year deal. Wow. Trevor Rosenthal will go to the Reds, become their new closing pitcher. And the 40-man roster needs to be set. So a lot of re-signs, obviously. We don't need to worry about that too much because we already know. We have 81 players right now. Obviously, we are able to lose a few. So we'll see if we lose any. We might even be able to bring some guys back. Angels get Taylor Rogers. Hunter Renfors goes to the Reds on a two-year deal. No, and Raphael Devers goes to the Twins. Six-year deal. Chris Sale goes to the Cardinals on a one-year deal. Wow. Let's take a look at our uh, tender contracts. Looks like everybody signed, which now gives us a budget going into this season of $110 million. Corbin Carroll signed a deal, obviously, for us. He gets two years over uh, $6 million over three years. So The Reds get Tim Anderson. Wow, the Reds are bulking up for a repeat run. Max Muncy goes to the Marlins. J.D. Martinez heads to the Rockies. He'll play with D.J. LeMayhew. Not bad, not bad. Yankees sign Jorge Polanco. I think that gives us a chance now. Nope, we still haven't got there yet. Let's go ahead and get to the winter meetings. Wow! Grandel will go to the Indians. Wow! Urshela goes to the... Wow, they are bulking up for a run, too. All righty. We're still heading into the draft here. I think we're all set. Let's take a look here again. 81 guys. Let's see if we lose anybody here right off the bat. All right, let's see here. Did we lose anybody? Ooh, looking okay right now. Looks like we haven't lost anybody, so that's good. Um... Dustin Braggs back again. Taylor or Tyler Olson. Wow. Ray Del Villar is available. Good stats there. Anthony Sigler. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, man, Jonathan Davies hasn't played a single season in the majors. Pretty much glad we got rid of him. He didn't go anywhere. Philip Uchiha from Japan. Hank Sis from New York. It doesn't look like anybody or whatever that we need to concern ourselves with. Skip. Did uh, Houston take anybody? No. Nolan Blackwood. No. 
And it looks like we're not going to lose anybody. All right. So we got, again, we go through the Rule 5 draft, not losing a single person. We will now simulate up to arbitration hearings. The Orioles want to offer us Trey Mancini. Wow. Really? That would be huge. But you want us to give up a prospect and lose, and you want my star first baseman prospect. I don't know, 24. That would be something. I mean, wow. That would be incredible, but I'll oh, my goodness. Hmm. Well, you know what? That could be a trade or whatever that I might want to look at. What happens if I go Loris Goriel? Like the straight up trade. I'd have a longer deal here, but I'd have an extra I'd have that extra outfielder. I mean I'd have Trey Mancini, Hernandez, and Springer. And then I'd have Carroll. But Car and Carroll will be playing platoon. So he wouldn't it wouldn't really matter if he didn't play as much. And then I could rely on Montoya, Bobby Witt to play short. Got Guerrero. But I don't think and but the question is do I have anybody else who could go and play the field as an extra? Because if I don't, I don't know, because Goriel or whatever is Yeah, I don't have any well. I do have Naylor who can go play left field. So that would be okay, I think. Hey, Oscar. Wow. I mean, if I moved on from Tay Oscar, who's 86... Move on to Trey Mancini. I mean, his stats are better in a lot of sense. I think other than discipline. I'd lose on speed, though. And if that's the case, then I could keep Goriel... And his fielding and the ability to play in the outfield in multiple spots. But. Hmm. Oh my. I mean, that's a tough one. And you wanted my, you wanted this guy. I don't think you'd be able to give me anybody back that I could justify it. I mean, I could take, I could take a younger guy and have, and have him develop a little more. And then focus on these guys and he could play down here in the minors. Give me some more time because I think I still have Naylor and Kruger. So... Oh, I think this might be a deal I might want to look at because other than the speed, I'm going to get better pretty much in every single aspect. Uh, and the age is also a thing, so he's going to downtrend after this season probably. The money's very similar. I'm actually going to save money. Oh, Trey Mancini. 
He's played his whole career in Baltimore since 2016. He is, I mean, back-to-back -back season with 50 home runs. That's hard to say no to. I'm doing it. Tay Oscar Hernandez is going to go to Baltimore. I'm going to bring in Trey Mancini, and then I'm going to have to develop or maybe look into, like I've got, like I've got enough guys here in the minors or whatever to focus on to take over. So that's it. What a deal. An offer that doesn't come along very often, but your Toronto Blue Jays trade away Teoscar Hernandez. Wow. That is huge. Huge. And it's not even a report about it, really. That is probably one of the biggest trades you'll see. I've made so many trades. You want to you wanna take Gabe Kruger from me. You want to give me a catcher and... Thick? Nah, no. The answer is just no. Like, man, oh, man. That's just... Trey Mancini is now our new right fielder. Uh, I know, Gavin. It's crazy. All right. Whit Merrifield and Michael Brantley are both still available. Down trending at 85 overall. And Michael Brantley or whatever still has some good talent or whatever, even at 36. But again, starting to downtrend, so... Renewable contracts have come up, but I have nobody that I need to do. So let's head to spring training. And there it is, everybody. Your Toronto Blue Jays have made it to another... Uh, n through another offseason here. Lots of stuff that we got to do is set up our team... We'll go ahead here and do our contract signings here because there's going to be some big ones. Let's take a look at our budget here and see where, how long we want to go. So maybe, what, three, maybe three to four years again? Let's see, let's see whatever, let's see what kind of contract some of these guys want. Soraka wants, oh, he wants big boy money. Wow. Yikes. He wants to be my ace of aces, man. Like, yikes. My money is about to skyrocket through the roof. Well, that is going to be something we're going to have to decide who is going to be the guys of our future here. Rivera, he's going to want big boy money. Three years, yeah. Well, let's focus on the guys or whatever we're gonna who are gonna be okay. So three years, that's okay. He wants some big boy money, so we can wait on that for now. Gabe Kruger, he is okay with taking a little less money here. Three years, yeah, three years. Let's give him the platoon option. He wants to play every day. I think he deserves to play every day, though. Give him a little bit there. There we go. Let him play every day. Justin Sanchez. He wants to be a star. That is not happening. Not just yet, my friend. There we go. George Springer. Maybe... Uh, let's go on three-year deal again. Give him every day. Give him some big boy money. Obviously, he deserves it. Now, let's take a look at our starting pitchers here and see what they want. Three years, you want to be in the rotation. Because we got to go ahead and make sure that... Uh, like I said, these guys, these, he's going to be in the rotation, obviously. And I just want to make sure that I don't screw this up. So, there we go. Three-year deal. Three-year deal. We settle, I think, on three-year deal for some most of these guys or whatever. I think will be the best choice. But like I said, with Sororka wanting that kind of money, I have to limit what I'm paying everybody else. 
because it's going to cost a boatload to sign him. Three years. Yeah, there we go. All right. Castillo is still there. He's our second base guy here. And I think we might have to give him the money because I don't have anybody really coming up unless I sign someone in free agency. So let's go ahead here and give him the three-year deal that he wants. And let us take a look now at our budget. 106 million right now. 130 million next year. Yikes, he was. And who doesn't have a con who has a contract coming up next year? Anybody big? No, it's all renewable contracts. So that's good. As long as they don't freaking bounce up like crazy. But you know, it'll be the 2026 season that we might have a problem. Complete the transactions. Let's quickly take a look at our scouts and everything. See if there's anybody new that we can take. Wow, the East and the West also now have somebody or whatever that we can take. Hmm. I think we could probably move on from the Central guy here. Yeah. And then we could probably put... Let's see. Focus on the East instead, at least right now. There's a West guy available. And we also got... Still got that central guy from before. Let's compare the two central guys. I think we will... Yeah, we'll take Watman here. Yeah. So we got three guys or whatever in the east. And one guy in the central. Or do we have another east guy or whatever that would be applicable? That's what we'd want or whatever. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get that lucky. So, okay. So there we go there. Our coaches and everything stay the same. Training and everything is all good here. Obviously, we will be having to set up the lineup and everything like that. Wow. Bobby Witt wants a lot of money. And he is not happy about his contract. Trey Mancini, not happy, but that's fine. We will get everybody into... Um, into their proper positions and stuff like that. And when we come back in our next video, we will be ready for the regular season. So that is going to do it. I am Alex Fantasy. Thanking you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. You can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And as always, thank you all so much for watching.